Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Keep It Real. I am back with another video for you all guys. And, uh, you know, uh, remember I said we're kind of changing up a little bit. We're moving along the path of more spirituality. So guys, you know, um, those who, those of you who have joined the journey with me on spirituality and we're talking a lot about it, you know, um, I always say that a lot of children, they are more connected per se than we are as adults, meaning that if we have not woken up into spirituality, a lot of us are so far removed that, you know, a lot of people are so far removed that they wouldn't even know, you know, how to process a lot of the information that's out there per se. Um, not saying that they can, but maybe they don't know how to process it at that time until they're spiritually awakened. But children, 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 they're still more connected because they have not been indoctrinated with a lot of different uh, philosophies out there, if you if you will. Um, they haven't been conditioned to believe and think a certain way as a lot of adults have been, where, like I said, adults have to come back to that knowledge. I just want you all to take a listen to some of these clips that I saw y'all on TikTok out of the mouth of babes and child, these kids, honey, their, their concept of God and, and how they describe it and how they eloquently put it into words. It just blew my mind. It just blew my mind. So I'm just going to let you all take a listen, uh, to the clips and everything. And, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Cause like I said, they, oh my goodness, the way they articulated the, uh, understanding was just, uh, astounding guys. It was just amazing to listen to and to hear here. And uh, le again, let me know what you think in the comments section below about, you know, um, what you think as far as what your thoughts of God is and, and how they articulate it. And I'll be back soon with another video. Universe doesn't speak English. It speaks frequency. And this is the most honest language in the world. Think about it. If you say something in a language, you may doubt it inside of you. Or you could even lie to yourself. Frequency doesn't lie. If your thoughts, mind, and desires are not aligned, you may not reach that frequency. So God is an energy that is used to create something. So you know souls, right? Yeah. Souls have the God energy in them. Okay. So let's say you took away the God energy from anything. It okay. would just become nothing. Fuel. It's a fuel. That's fascinating. You can't ask it stuff. You can't pray to it. You can? Yeah, you can. You can. So, so is if, if someone doesn't believe in God, then I guess you don't believe in yourself because basically wow, every single living thing, and not even living thing, every single atom, every single piece of energy is made from that, from the God source. Wow. So 13.8 billion years ago, the entire universe was reduced to a singularity, something a particle smaller than a quark. However, if gravity is always working i.e. if you jumped off this building, you're not going to fall 15 seconds later. You're going to fall immediately. So if gravity is always working, then the and if the singularity was always there, like some atheists try to say, then the universe should have no age. It should be infinitely old. But it's not. It has, it has an age. It's 13.8 billion years old. And... Something can't come from nothing because it would have to exist in order to cause itself to exist, which is illogical. So therefore, something other must have created the singularity. That something other we observe as God. What is God? Okay, so uh, a lot of people think God is, quite in the biblical sense, a guy sitting up on a cloud who controls... Uh, the universe, frankly, and has created all life, but uh, my definition of God is not like that. I don't believe God is a person or entity. Uh, God is just another form of energy, or well, actually is energy, himself, well not even himself, itself, for the fact that um, you look at the Bible and other really, you know, awesome, but extremely vague and unreliable unre sources in religion, uh, that, you know, hold these sources that we find and facts that we find or so-called facts that we find and really a lot of people think it's just about faith um, but if you relate the Bible to quantum physics and apply most of the laws actually in a less of a figure sen figurative sense but more of a literal sense and replace it with things like the universe uh, you'll, you'll eventually find out that it explains in-depth quantum physics 
quantum physics and astrophysics um, experiments and theories. Well, maybe not theories because maybe now they're proven. Who knows? Maybe the Bible isn't a story of something that happened on Earth, but maybe a story of how our universe began. For the fact that, honestly, I don't really buy into the literal biblical sense. Like, you know, God is literally a guy who looks like us, who sits up in an alternate realm that's in our clouds and, you know, watches over all of us. But I guess you could say that he's an energy form that created all, is all, and is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. God, or energy, lives within us, through us, and can... And is us. And is us, frankly. So you said what, that God is the energy that is in us, created us, and is us. Is, much, that, yes. is that your definition? Yep. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Sort of, yeah. God is energy. That's my thing. And I mean, like, you look at dimensional theory, and eventually we have, you know, a singularity at the beginning of the universe that is energy. And then, you know, eventually that begins to slow down in vibration due to entropy or some other law of that sort. And then, you know, first you get photonic light, and then that slows down, and then we get matter, and then that slows down. And then who else knows what comes next? We have gravity, and then we have time, you know, all coming in at one sense. And I mean, does that sound like origin story to you? It kind of does a little bit to me. If you want to do something, you just need to believe it. And you can't just say, I believe I can do this. I believe I can do that. Because it doesn't work. You really need to think it in your heart. And I mean by in your heart. Right in your heart. In the middle of your heart. So <laughs>